Um, my name is uh, Sherry Stutzer. I'm trying to get my maiden name of Kirchhoff back. Okay. And what can I do for you today? Well, I've been trying to get my TANF recertified. I didn't receive the recertification packet in December because I have a neighbor across the hall who's been stealing everyone's mail since she moved into the building. And so I didn't receive my recertification packet until uh, I put a note on the envelope I returned it with, uh, I think it was Friday the 15th of January. And uh, that was the day my son's school got closed down due to a COVID alert. So I wasn't able to turn in my application, my recertification, until after we got our negative COVID results. And then I could leave quarantine and drop that off. I didn't receive the application until after I was supposed to already turn it in. And now I'm receiving correspondence that you guys haven't received my recertification paperwork and I was therefore denied my TANF, so now I can't pay my bills. Okay. Um, it may still be processing. We probably still did receive it and just not gotten to it to get it processed yet. But let me take a look. Can you repeat your social for me? It's not pull up. Uh, okay. Uh, one second. Verify your date of birth for me, please. You know, and your phone number, please. Receive it. It was actually scanned in January 28th, and it has not been processed yet. Okay. Right now we are working. Uh, okay, because I, I I had called previously and was told that it was received and scanned in on the 20th. I had called before the 28th to make sure that my money would be hitting because I got my son's SSI, but I hadn't received the TANF yet, and it usually comes in a few days early, you know, on direct de deposits, so I was wondering what was going on, and I'm pretty sure that was previous to the 28th. I was told it had already been received then, but I, I'm receiving correspondence that... I have been denied the TANF because the application was never received. So that letter, you can disregard that letter. Um, the reason why is because our main system, where it automatically generates that letter, if the recertification has not actually been processed because it doesn't recognize it's been received because it's sitting in another system waiting to be processed. Okay. Okay, so, okay. all right, so it's it's claiming on your end to have been scanned in on the 28th? Correct. It was on the 28th when it was scanned in. Right now we are working on processing recertifications from January 4th. So it is going to still take some time to get that processed. Oh boy. Okay. Is there any idea on a timeline on when I'm going to be getting my payments because I can't pay my bills like this? It could possibly take up to three weeks. We are working as much as we can to try to get them processed as soon as possible, though. Okay. And uh, when it is processed, will I receive my February payment? Um, you will receive February's as long as you are qualified and everything goes through. Yes, you would receive February. Okay, even though it might not be till March. Correct, yes. Okay. Any other questions I can answer for you? Um, I, I think that's uh, about got it. So that that's uh, three weeks from the 28th, right? Yes, it, it possibly, give or take a little bit, but... You can always double check back with us to see what date we're processing on. Okay, because like I'm even trying to check the Peak website because I'm getting these emails saying that I have a new letter waiting for me, and when I log into the Peak website, it's not letting me pull up the letters. You know, I get the little loading bubble circle and then nothing instead of the download. And I have a PDF reader and everything like that. I've never had a problem getting a PDF before. Okay. Um, unfortunately, the Peak website, it is run through the state. Um, there is a number on there to call for Peak Tech Support to where they can help you get to those correspondence. 
Okay. All right. And uh, the, the only other thing I need to know is, uh, uh, can there, uh, uh, what, what is um, my food stamps amount, and is there any uh, uh, COVID addition to that? Because, like, I have to brown bag my son's lunches to school because he's in a special needs clinic. He's not in a school. So he doesn't do free or reduced lunch. So when food stamps run out, I need to pay cash to get him food. And I don't have cash this month because the meth head across the hall likes to steal my mail. So right now, what you did receive the 320 um, you will receive an additional amount. However, the those will not be received until your recertification is processed. Oh, no, actually, I apologize. Um, it looks like they did give you all of it. Give me one second here. Let me check your EBT card. Okay, because I, I did just receive the recertification for food stamps. And we're on COVID quarantine again because my son came home from school with the sniffles, so I'm awaiting COVID re test results from this morning. So I'll be able to get that recertification in as soon as we're cleared again. Okay. And Okay, so you did receive the full allotment for this month, the COVID benefits, totaling 430. Okay, because I, I didn't... Those are on your card. Okay, because I, I don't... I'm pretty sure I didn't receive that last month, so I was really tight last month, and then receiving no cash this month, I'm kind of freaking out a little. Um, so last month, let me see here. Um, you, you did receive last month as well, um, 320... That was actually issued on February 1st, is not what authorized for the additional amount. And then oh. 110 is, was your normal amount. Okay, okay. Cause, okay, I haven't been to the grocery store this month yet because I only had a couple bucks left. And I didn't want to blow it. Okay, oh, so that, that's been yeah, added uh, since. Right, well, right now your balance is $1,069.95. Oh, good grief. Well, yeah. sweet then. Okay. Yes. So, so I got last month's and this month's COVID ad addition on like the fir on like this month since I yeah. haven't been to the store this month. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, good. I I I yeah. wonder if the power bill takes food stamps because my bank is overdrawn, but at least I can get food. <laughs> so that that's yeah. a comfort. Definitely. Um, so, did you take your um, electric bill? Well, well, the, that that was the word that popped out. The utilities are covered with the rent, okay. but uh, what I've got is phone, car insurance, and all that. My, my Chase Bank is hundred fifty dollars overdrawn because I didn't get my TANF, and my bills come out of my TANF account. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um, if you do need other resources, also for help with um, seeing if you can, if they can help you pay any of those. Um, while we're working on getting them processed, you can reach out to 211 for United Way. Let them know the situation. They have a lot of resources available. Sweet. Okay. Cool. I, 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 I'll be honest with you. Um, I wasn't sure United Way was anything outside of Wisconsin. So <laughs> that's a nationwide thing, huh? It is. Yes, it sure is. So, okay. Yeah, we, we use that a lot. Food resources, um, all different kinds. Just explain what's going on, oh. and they'll find you some resources. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah. Absolutely. Any other questions? Nope, that's got it. Um, well... Uh, do you suppose I could do a contactless grocery thing at Walmart without putting anyone at risk? Because I'm out of a few things. You know what? Actually, you can't. Um, because my mom's been on quarantine. <laughs> and she had to do that. <laughs> so, so, yes, you sure can. Um, you download their uh, grocery app, the Walmart grocery app, and you can do your order and then 
when you submit it, um, you can pay with your EBT card, and then they'll do curbside where they come and put it in your car. Wonderful. Okay, that, that that's huge because yeah. there's things my son's been needing and I've been having to explain to his teachers, well, we can't really get that until maybe next week. And then, okay, so cool. I, I can get groceries, and then when we're cleared and I can take my son back to school, I can actually feed him properly. Like, he's got meals, but he doesn't have his favorite meals. And you know how five-year-olds are. <laughs> uh, yes, sure do. <laughs> sure do. So, okay. Well, thank you very much. Yes, absolutely. You're welcome. Thank you, and have a good day. You too. Take care. Bye. Thank you. <sighs> okay, so cash still getting screwed with, but holy food stamps, Batman. Yeah. Loki tempted to go sell a few. <laughs> I won't, I won't, but because you never know when the food stamps are going to dry up again, you know. I thought I had plenty this summer and I helped some folks out. And then my food stamps got cut off because of the neighbors stealing the applications, like what's happening with my TANF. So all of a sudden, I didn't have groceries for like three months. I was living on my non-perishables. And <laughs> figured out some really good vegan recipes. <laughs> but, uh, oh gosh. So, okay, at least we have food going to be in the house. And plenty to go with my pasta and lentils and beans I got stocked up from food pantries but uh, and then cash will be on the way and hopefully we can get some help in the meantime to get the bills covered so my bank account isn't hemorrhaging and hopefully you know when my application for TANF gets processed I actually get approved you know I won't know that until I get an email with a letter that I can't read, and then I have to make another phone call. So, uh, but well, hopefully, you know, information on you know questions to ask these social workers and help that is available. You know, hey, nationwide, what do you know? <laughs> you know, I, I hope that this can be helpful for you guys who are struggling too, because. You know, we're all having it really hard with COVID because Merck is winning bigly and families are losing all over the country. So we got to look out for each other and navigate these turbulent waters known as the welfare trap. So yeah, good luck. Take care, you guys. Be safe. <laughs>